What's up YouTube family? So I came across a really cool find today. This is a baby Cuban night on all. Um, this one in particular is probably not much older than a few months. Baby night on all are actually very very reclusive and they uh, they tend to hide up high in, in the trees and uh, in their young age. So this one in particular was a hard find. Um, he was actually just hanging out on some bushes that I just happened to walk upon and he was there. I've also received a lot of questions uh, from my fans, um, particularly with this uh, species of lizard. Um, a lot of people ask me if the Cuban Nidinol is a lizard that you will want to keep as a pet. My recommendation is no. Um, Cuban Nidinols need a lot of uh, need a lot of space to live and um, they uh, they tep this type of lizard typically likes to roam a lot and they, they don't like to stick around in one space. Um, you got to understand that these lizards are, are high canopy lizards so they like to live up high in the trees. So keeping them in a tank is not ideal for their survival. Although I have seen people successfully take care of these lizards. Um, it's just something that I wouldn't recommend but if you guys are interested in keeping a Cuban Nidinol as a pet the minimum that I would go is probably a 55 gallon tank uh, for a little guy like this um, growing up that would be an ideal condition um, what they like to eat in this stage is like crickets um, little mealworms grubs uh, all of these would be ideal foods uh, when they get bigger they actually uh, will eat larger beetles, dragonflies, even other uh, lizards, uh, smaller anoles like the brown or green anole. So in case you guys were wondering where the species originates, uh, it originates in the Caribbean and they are native to Cuba, um, although they are commonly found in South Florida because of probably someone brought it in uh, via ship or the animal trade and just escaped and just flourished here in the wild. Um, a lot of also a lot of people also ask me uh, where can you find these in South Florida. They are very common in Dade County, Broward, and Palm Beach. Um, anything much north of those locations uh, is very rare. They do not do well in cold temperatures. Nonetheless, it is a very very beautiful species of lizard. Um, this guy is a little upset with me, so he's not really showing his his vivid green colors. When they get upset and stressed, they tend to have a darker color on them. This is the baby Cuban Nidinol in a nutshell. Thanks for watching, guys.